Yo, what's up, everybody? What's up, party people? We're back with more Castlevania Lords of Shadow. And we are at the Dead Bog. Looks like Dead Hog for now. I'm Alone saying. again, <laughs> and only his thoughts just company. He continues on his journey to find the one he seeks. Who or what was that strange creature? There is a power here that few know. A power that could have some influence on events. Perhaps the guardian of the lake is aware of him now and offers aid in his quest. There is just the small matter of the dead bog to overcome. A place that has claimed the lives of many of the Brotherhood. The smell of death is strong here and danger lies around every corner. But nothing will stop him. Nothing will stand in his way. Two thousand twelve. So this is just before the th Xbox One and PS Four came out. So it's definitely like higher detail three sixty day. You know. Yeah. See no yellow paint. Oh, but it's flashing. Ooh, so flash gate versus yellow paint gate. Oh, it's not flashing anymore. Okay. See, in the old days, they just expected you to look at ledges and understand. <laughs> yeah, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. It breaks the immersion. It's a fucking video game. You're right? Like, sometimes I just need to be told what to do. Right. If there was yellow paint to tell me where to go in real life, I'd follow it. Well, let's just pick up a lift and like. It's a bad grenade if it takes that long to explode. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. Look, I'm talking to brother's wife. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's in the I thought it was B, but I thought that was a part of the dodging, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> I thought it got him right in the throat. That would have been sick. <laughs> Touch the water. <laughs> this is the part where you learn that you can use your chain lip to cross ga chasms. I'm just assuming. <laughs> Gotta dodge for the I think it's a quick time event. I don't know what button I was supposed to hit there, but circle the zero line and see what happens, I guess. At least got fogged instead of grabbed by the ghoulies. Right. Something's following. It's but just Smeagol. Okay. 
Jeez, that kills you quick. Okay, I get it. Got it. That's getting it back to it. Yeah. So that's where the hands will grab you. Guess that's what Bob can do. Right. <laughs> Swamp of fruit everywhere. Right. Oh shit. What button did you press that one? Uh, a. Huh. What are your thoughts on the potential uh, Xbox handheld coming? Supposed. I mean, I have my doubts, but it, it would be the way to go with uh, Game Pass. Like, it would be, you know, easy to market as a Steam Deck competitor, I imagine. Yeah. Um, I, I haven't seen a ton, honestly. I'll have to... Yeah, more about it. Like I've seen little bits here and there, but nothing more than like a quick mention. Yeah, so far, like I, I guess a part of the idea is that they would still do a two console approach, like they did this generation, but instead the S variant could be the handheld. Okay. Um. And then the the X would be the more powerful console. So that way developers um, only have one main console, I guess, main home console to really deal with. But I suppose, I'm sure they'll make a mandate that if it, if it comes out on the more powerful system, it needs to be playable on the handheld, I guess. Yeah, and I mean, that's the problem. They're already running it to both the S and the X. Yeah, God. It sucks. Like, if they had just given the S more RAM, that's the biggest issue. I mean, the, the storage sucks on it, too. Like, um, but if they had just given it more RAM. Yeah, would that just have been? That would have been the, that would have been the, the, the savior for the system. It's not that the CPU is incapable and it's not just affected the GPU is heavily cut back, but it's just that they just don't have the RAM to get the performance out. You know, like. The standard now for most things is uh, is a uh, is a uh, uh, like sixteen gigs, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I guess like really, um, you at least need thirteen for a semi okay game, because uh, that's all you get on the the Series X and the PS Five is about thirteen gigs of, of RAM. Okay. Uh, for the games. Uh, actually, I think it's only 12 on the PS5. I don't know. Either way, you at least need that much to get a semi-decent game. Yeah. Um, and the Series S at its 8 is just not cutting it anymore. Five, eight, five. I think you gotta throw a grenade at the tree. Yeah, but you, you gotta like pick the, them up to get their grenade. Um. Okay, you 
knock it off with that. They run up behind me and kill me, I'm gonna die. No. All right. So the bubbles in the. So you got to move to the ripple. So the ripple pushes you into that. So. So you know how to get out of that. I'm trying. <laughs> That's up there, Gabriel. We follow. Probably some like creepy spiritual maiden or something like that. Ooh, the grenade explosion Ooh. got you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. It just still shows the thing. Yeah. It's like, boo! It's not so bad. That's the most important time in any game is when you can get it. Yeah. <laughs> Just after Sekiro, it was until and when you got your grapple hook. Right. That was like every game had to have a zip line hook after Sekiro. Oh shit. Man, that fucks you up. Yeah, it does. Games and I'm drunk. I wonder if I get better at them like I am at fighting games. <laughs> Check that out sometime. I sincerely doubt it, but you know, <laughs> you never know. Just think I'm better at games after I Colorado, and I'm not. Mm. Oh, yeah, watch out for that grenade. Oh, never mind. It was just a gauntlet or whatever you got. Oh, I thought you had infinite daggers. You only have five. Yeah. Just now notice that number. So at least you got them all funneled. to the left of it. <laughs> no reason to rush. <laughs> and we still have 10 minutes in this particular car. Ooh, at least there's a health thing right there. That's oh, sick. Cool. Yeah. I, mean, I know it's green, but it's a better shade of green. <laughs> At least atmospheric. Right. I think you go back to that church, but there was a path to the left of the side of the building. Oh, okay, see, I didn't know if you meant that or like straight up left at the down of the bottom of the stairs. At the down of the stairs. Mm -hmm. God. But you went right, so. <laughs> Your other left. <laughs> Touche, God, I'm a <laughs> <fucking> genius. <laughs> Ooh, 
It's definitely not a maiden. It's a moss monkey. That sounds really racist. <laughs> <laughs> it does. <laughs> I think my wife back is more important than whatever you guys have done. <laughs> Come on. I don't want to read out of this game with the fucking dude that did Clive in Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> that would be fun. It is the only mainline Final Fantasy I haven't played yet. You know, I'm surprised. I was so excited for when, you know, 16 was going to be announced, and then after it finally was just an action game, I'm like, I don't care about it. It was still good. That's what I hear, but I might as well, uh, but I feel like I might as well watch, like, a YouTube of it, because, and still, I'm like, I would probably still buy it anyway, just for the collection, but I don't know if I actually want to play it myself. I don't know. I don't know. No, I, I have my battle. Like, it actually is a good battle system. Um. I mean, I, I don't. I'm not doubting the battle system as being good or bad. It's just more so that it's not my. <laughs> Honestly, I'll give it its its Final Fantasy for everything that you don't like. All the intangible Final Fantasy shit is in that game. Mm. Even like the stuff that shouldn't be like you're like God, the series has outgrown this, and you're gonna still like keep doing this. But you're like, no, that's what makes it Final Fantasy. Like, it doesn't matter that it's not turn based or not this, it's like it still is jank in the right ways. <laughs> I just kind of wish they would, like, yeah, like, I don't know. Just... I mean, I suppose, like, Square keeps saying it's up to the, the, uh, the director of the game to decide which way the battle system's gonna go. I feel like that's a lot. <laughs> I feel like they're being mandated to do action Final Fantasy games. That, because I seriously doubt 17 is going to be anything but action. Tell me surprised. I think it might. Uh, if anything, it'll be a little more hybrid, play a little more like 14. Because that's what people kind of, you know, like, they're like, yeah, it's the same director. They're like, you know, for everyone talking about how much they want a single-player Final Fantasy XIV, they're like, this is it. And I understood that. It's like, it's not the same nostalgia, but they still hit those right notes. So I like turn-based RPG, like... Because it sucks that, like, you can't really find, like, um... Again, like kind of the bigger issues that there are like no high fidelity, you know, or highly detailed turn based RPGs. Like, the last one was Lost Odyssey, really. Yeah, no, I could see that. I mean, and I guess now that we have that Claire Obscura Expedition 33 coming out, that actually looks interesting. Yeah, but uh, no, stuff like. Even Saga Emerald Beyond, it's like, yeah, it's, you know, definitely, it's not a super gorgeous, you know, fucking, like, it does good with its art style, but it's not, yeah, like, a, you know, showpiece. Yeah. Oh, damn, it's really pretty. Um, but, yeah, it's like, that's, you know, those engines are still there, and it's like, I don't know, I don't know what that happy medium is. I, I, I think that happy medium is Dragon Quest, but... Not everyone wants that anime. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I would love, I would love like a turn-based RPG with a more 
realistic look, you know, and still the fantasy of it all. Uh, like, you know, imagine what a modern day Final Fantasy VIII would look like, you know. I mean, we kind of, I guess we kind of know Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, but it doesn't, but obviously I'm talking about like playing like the old way. Yeah. And like, gosh, like if the, if the Final Fantasy IX Remake ends up being as good as, as, as it could be, I know they haven't announced it yet, but that NVIDIA leak so far seems to be so right, so I'm believing it. Um, unless it gets cancelled. <laughs> right. Um, but, uh, like, gosh, Final Fantasy IX had some amazing magic effects. I think that's really what, like, I miss about the turn-based RPGs, is that they can really dial in the magic, like, the special effects. You know? You don't, like, you don't get the, like... You don't get the, those style of special effects like Final Fantasy IX or even any like, of them. Look at, I and, mean, that's not... Like, look at fifteen. whenever those summons would come up. Like, yeah, you couldn't call them, you know, at will like you could in seven, but you wouldn't want to either. It's like, with that spectacle, you know, it's like, how many, you know, in Final Fantasy seven, if you could skip those summons after a certain point, you do. Just Yeah, but not necessarily, I'm not necessarily just talking about summons i'm talking about like uh like ultima yeah like just the way that the just the way that because it was a, it wasn't an action game where the camera was constantly moving they could control what you were looking at um can you not reach the ledges up there um, um but no, like I because they can control like the camera like you could have some really sick effects oh uh, that's more so what I'm getting at. Like the 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 was it the icons as they're called mm -hmm. in in sixteen? Like those battles are sick. I'm not I'm definitely not poo pooing those. Um But again, like just some of the cool magic effects that used to be in the games, you know. Yeah. Just just aren't there, you know. No, that's fair, because it's like it it turned, you know, especially in 16 with those battles, it's like, it just made them quick time events. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's cool, that's a way to do it. Um, and I liked it. But again, I could see people wanting, you know, just a high fidelity fucking turn based RPG. Mm -hmm. I'm just going in circles here. I think you're, I think you're supposed to grip on to that thing again and swing to the other side, maybe. Over again. No, oh. up, up. <laughs> Fingers work. There we go. Yeah, do that. Over. And then I think you get down. Then I think okay. you grapple again. But you can. We did it. We did it. <laughs> Nickelodeon copyrights. <laughs> Yo, so uh, I didn't say what I was going to, but that boss of the first part, the wolf, it was Cornell. Mm -hmm. Since they didn't say it there, which was the wolf from the 64 one. Um, that you play as so yeah they they throw some shit like that which is nice. See. Well, party people, it was a perfect time to end right here. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. See you on the next one. Bye.